What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Anything Better podcast show, NFL edition for week number five. Uh, with your hosts, me, Paul Verzi over here, Bill Burr over there. Got the Greek freak out in Beverly Hills over there. And you know this ain't a show without Jake the Snake with the injury reports. Um, Bill, I just got – oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's just shout out our sponsor. It's the BetMGM Sportsbook, guys. Uh, the best book out there. Um, right now, Bet and Jam is offering 1,500 in free bets uh, to get your season going. How to get this offer in four easy steps. You download the Bet MGM Sportsbook app uh, on any of your devices and use our code. That's code BURR, B U R R. You sign up and you deposit at least $10 into your Bet MGM Sportsbook account, place your first, for, uh, first wager, and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if the bet loses. If the bet does lose, oh, don't you worry, because bonus bets will be available once your initial wager is settled. Uh, we also have the first touchdown offer here, which uh, is always fun. You simply place a prop bet on who uh, the player you think is going to score the first touchdown in any NFL game. If your player doesn't score, but instead scores the second touchdown, you'll get your stack back in cash. Bill, I just got good news. I was talking to somebody saying, oh, I had a good week. I went three and one. And somebody goes, no, I think you went 4-0, and oh, and I go, I don't know if the Packers covered, and I just found out that I did get that, and I went 4-0, and oh, which, fuck, did I need, so it felt better to hear that. That's, That's good. You're back, Paul Verzi in October. No, not back, but I'll take it. Um, Dude, this has been the most miserable fucking year gambling. This fucking year, I don't know who the fuck anybody is. It's, so it's like weird, the Bills dude. kick the shit out of whoever the fuck they kick the shit out of, and then they play the Ravens, and it's like they can't even play football. Oh, my God. I I, I, I just – I fuck this year, dude. Fuck this year. Dude, fuck Cincinnati. Year. I don't, I give don't a know. Fuck. All I know is my Pats suck. That's the only bet I fucking hit last week. Everybody, like, who the, who the fuck is anybody right now, Paul? Who the fuck can you look at the team and be like, this team is this, this team is that? This, I'm telling you, dude, I am getting NBA in the 2000s vibes. And my prediction is the fucking Chiefs are going to play the Ravens in the AFC championship game, and the refs are going to fuck the Ravens because the Chiefs are their fucking cash cow. That's their story. Patrick Mahomes, is he the next time, Brady? Can they fucking three-peat? Oh, my God, Taylor Swift. That's their cash cow. So the we level that you're going to have to beat those guys, you're going to have to be up by, like, fucking 17 18 points in the fourth fucking quarter. We should do a side bet. Me and you should do a side bet because I think somebody takes the Chiefs out this year. I think I don't think the Chiefs are going to three-peat this year. So if you want to do a side bet, we should do that. What um, is giving you that indication, Paul? It's like the level of fucking holding that those I, fucking guys do. is It's just, it's fucking insane. On both sides of the ball, on both sides of the fucking line and the refs are just standing there. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, def, de there's definitely favoritism, but I think a team's going to just... they're literally, teams. like, he, he goes like this to huddle up. He does this stupid thing, and they fucking zoom in on his fucking hand. It's a fucking movie, dude. It's a fucking... What am I watching? <laughs> what is this fucking lethal weapon? Where the fuck's my camera? Where's the camera? They zoomed in on it. Yeah, yeah, no... This is. Let me ask you this question. You've been watching NFL longer than me. When was the last year that the NFL was this weird and unpredictable? With Why are the Commanders all of a sudden fucking great last week? I, I dude, two and weeks in a row. Week, I'm supposed to be like, oh, they they fucking turned it around, and now the Ravens kicked the shit out of the Bills. And I'm supposed to say, oh, that's who the fucking Ravens are. They're gonna lose this week to the Bengals. Listen, Paul. Every year I fucking lose to the book, like most people, but not like this year. This year is just like this is. It's like every team is fucking bipolar. Yeah, no, it's I'm, weird. I, I, I'm over it, dude. I don't give a fuck. I just picked four fucking teams that I don't give a shit. I'm like a housewife at this point. Um, speaking of that, you go first. All right, uh, I'm gonna take the Pats minus one playing the Dolphins. They're fucking. They're a chicken without a fucking head. They don't have a quarterback, and I feel like we have a good coach. We played. Good enough on the first two games that we can beat a team that's as banged up as the Dolphins are. Pats minus one. Now watch, we'll lose by 40. And next week we'll win by 40. I'm going to take, I like that. 
I think that unfortunately the Dolphins season is horribly because of that that uh injury. I hope that Tua guy's gonna be all right, man. I, I know, man. He's no, it's a fucking young kid. He's got his whole career ahead of him. I'm gonna take Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets getting two and a half. Everybody thinks the Vikings this and that. And I keep saying Sam Darnold's gonna lose and he hasn't yet. But um if the Jets lose this one, I I just I just think the Jets are gonna figure something out. And I think Sam Darnold is due for a bad game. I know I said that two weeks in a row. I'm just going to take the Jets getting two and a half in Minnesota. I'm going to take the Chiefs getting five and a half, uh, laying five and a half Monday night. I like that officiating crew. I think they like Taylor Swift. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I think the Kelsey brothers should do some more commercials. And, uh, you know, I think we should just gas these guys up. Just make them as big as they can as we wait for the next Brady, Elway, Peyton Manning to fucking show up in the league. In the meantime, we'll just keep propping these guys up. I'm going to take them minus five and a half against Derek Carr and the Saints. (laughs) How funny is that if you were like, this, I got to tell you, I looked at the report of the officials. These guys are good. They all like barbecue. They don't like vinegar base. They like molasses base. So I'm going to take the Chiefs over the Panthers. All right. Um, I like that pick. Let's see here. You know what? I'm going to take the Commanders. I'm going to take the Commanders. The 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 Browns have had so many opportunities. They just, you know, I think this Jaden Daniels kid, this rookie, is really kind of good. We'll see what happens. I could be wrong, but I think that they're – they're going to hit a stride this year right now, and I'm going to take them minus three and a half. I don't love the half a point, to be honest, but I I, I think that they're a better team than the Browns. So I'm going to take I'm going to take the I Commanders. I agree with home. all of that, Paul, and that's why I'm taking the Browns, because it makes no fucking sense that they're going to show up and win. Oh, little head-to-head? Nice. I got two head-to-head. I got another one coming for you. Oh, oh, oh I like it. All right. Uh, Paul, I don't give a fuck. I'm like the angry voter right now. <laughs> I'm just waiting for some guy with a two by four to tell me that he's going to turn the country around and I'll vote for him, even though he can't complete a sentence. All right. Um, Oh man, dude, I'm going to go. I'm going to take the Packers again. I'm going to take the Packers minus three against the Rams. I don't know who the Rams are. One week the Rams win, the next week, I don't know. I'm going to just fucking stick with the Packers because their backup quarterback is good and their first and their first string quarterback is good. Minus three. Is Love playing? Jake the uh, Snake. Oh, yeah, Jake. We need a little Jake the Snake appearance. Hey, there hey, he is. Hey, how you doing? Jake the Snake here for the ladies. What do we got? <laughs> um, Jordan Love is expected to play this week, yeah. Um, cause there you he, go. Yeah. He's he's back. He he was back last week. You know they're limiting him in practice, but he's gonna he's gonna play again. Um, so so you yeah. like him against Vince Ferragamo? <laughs> yeah, Matt I do. Stafford, Matt Stafford, Stafford yeah. Vet, tough as well, nails, getting it done with his two top receivers out. Um, yeah, he, all right. he's he's a great Paul player. Paul, well, guess what? I like Sam Darnold. After saying I don't like a quarterback with Darn in his last name, I'm I'm gonna go with the Vikings. I just think, uh, I don't fucking know. The Jets allegedly have a good defense. Where the fuck has that been the last few weeks? Yeah. Um, um, dude, I watched this this fucking video on Moses Malone. Yeah. Moses Malone, dude. Like, you never saw it like a guy back then. He moved like a fucking point guard. He could handle the ball. He'd go into the trees, go up and under and do a fucking layup and pick his seven-foot legs up. He could dunk on anybody in the league. Was he seven foot? Yeah. Wow. He was a man child. He came right out of high school, went right to the, I think he went to the ABA. I think the the Houston Rockets were ABA. I can't remember. But I'm listening to people talking about him. And God bless Bill Walton, rest his soul. But he goes, no, he wasn't the most skilled player. It's like, what are you talking about, dude? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about with your banged up feet? <laughs> your fucking headband. What are you? He wasn't the most skilled player. The guy was fucking unbelievable. He yeah. took the 76ers to the promised land. Yeah, I didn't even know. I, most People most can't give player. it up to, for somebody's fucking greatness. As I shit on the Chiefs. Old Billy hypocrite here. 
No, 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 no. You're right. They, they, they come on, man. They know. Uh, all right, here we go. My fourth and final pick. This is the one that I. I do like that Rasheed Rice, and I also like that defense, and yeah, I like. But, but what no, the f holding no, a Rasheed Rice is out. Rasheed huh? Rice is out. Rasheed Rice is out. He's his knee is ripped. He's gone for a year. Oh fuck me. Oh. Um, but no, they still My, got what's his name. Well, I'm probably gonna lose that one. Paul, can I punt this week? Is that all right? Can I just take a knee? Can I Jeff George and turn around and throw the ball out of the fucking end zone? I mean, I don't know who the Raiders well, or Broncos are. I haven't gone three are. and one in like a fucking year. I go two and two every week, and every once in a while I get a one and three, and then I fucking lose four games to the book every fucking year. You all Billy wins some, lose some. <laughs> We're not Billy wins some, lose some. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm going under. Lifeguard is fucking talking to some hot chick on the beach. I'm going under for the third time over here, Paul. Oh, I hate this Falcons Bucks game. It's a division game. It's uh, I hate the it. Fuck with the Buccaneers last week. I know. I know. Where the fuck did that come from? Um what's going on? Oh, the Eagles are the Eagles not playing. Oh, the Eagles played, right? What's going on? Why are the Eagles not on here? Is that a bye week? Biden's still president. The second he said he wasn't running, I've I haven't seen him since. Oh, dude, I did a joke about that on stage in Tampa. I go, get in the basement and shut up. I go, shut up. <laughs> I want to hear him. I'm on the back porch on a fucking rocking chair with a blanket on his legs. This Bills-Texans game is literally a pick -em. It's a literal pick -em in Houston. The Bills are coming off a bad loss. I'm not going to touch it. They're I'm not coming off a great win. Who? And then a bad loss. And then you got the fucking Arizona Cardinals. Look at them every other fucking week. In all the years I've watched NFL football, I this is the first time I feel like I'm throwing a dart at a board. I don't know. I mean, there's a couple I like, but I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? Paul, usually by this time of the year, you're kind of fucking starting to figure out who people are. At least I like to think. I'm going to take, I, this is what I'm going to do. Because if, if they lose now, if they lose now, the season is over. They just gave this kid fucking $200 million and they're 0-4. I'm going to take the Jacksonville Jaguars at home, minus two and a half against the Colts, who I believe Richardson is out, right, Jake? We, we don't know for certain. He's questionable. But he's he, he, could, he, he yeah, he's banged up, but he could play in that game. I'm gonna um, take I'm gonna take Trevor Lawrence. Uh, he seemed like a nice kid when I see him, when I saw him eating a Buffalo chicken sandwich at a golf course in Vegas. Uh, he's 0 and 4. He's 0 and 4, dude. If they go 0 and 5, I mean, he's already, his chances are already out. I don't I like think, the way he's looking at his offensive coordinator, dude. He's looking, he's looking mad at, at him, everybody. Like, have any fucking answers. Like, what are we doing here? That's the thing. The problem is not Trevor Lawrence. It's some, somebody with a clipboard isn't giving him the right shit. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take them at home because it's under a field goal. A field goal wins it, and they need, they're need they 0 4. They're desperate in front of a home crowd. There you go. My fourth and final pick, and I'm sticking to it. Well, I would have a better chance of picking a Korean baseball game right now than I could pick a fucking NFL game. Yeah. If anybody is out there, whatever I picked, go go the opposite. You're going to go. Is anybody out there? Yeah, you're going to go at least fucking three and one. Who sang that song? Is that Van Halen? That was Def Leppard. Def Leppard, yeah. What is it, Photograph? Which album, Bill? Anybody Stay out there. I think that's the Pyromania album. Does anybody care? Right? Is that what they say? Anybody wonder? Dude, oh. by the way, Def, yeah. Def Leppard, underrated, I think. So good. Pyromania. It was Pyromania. Pyromania. High what year, Andrew? Pyr Pyromania High and Dry. Those, those, hey. those. Those are the, those are the go-to. 1983, Pyromania, dude. I'm going to start downloading it. You know what? I'm flying out to Washington to hang out with my buddies this weekend. Oh, we're going oh! to Washington. Here oh. we go. Oh, the Jordans are packed. The Jordans are in the fucking, the Jordans are in the luggage with the crease beast. Um, I'm coming out there and I may put some Def Leppard in the ears on the fucking. Wait, what's the crease beast? Do you have shoots? Do you have shoe trees for your sneakers? I, I, uh, they, there's a new invention, Bill. <laughs> you see, he's laughing because like he's so excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bill, wait a Bill. minute. 
Bill, you, you know have me. Shoe trees for your gym shoes? No, listen to me. Yeah, yeah, Bill, you know when I get excited. Bill knows me well. So the sneakers crease. So they tried doing these. The old invention was like this ugly plastic thing. But a, a sneaker head came up with it, Bill. Oh, Bill, there's got to be a better way. Here's Dude, the I swear to God, sneaker heads are the gayest straight people in America right now. <laughs> but this guy knew what he was doing. He came up with a cushy thing that oh, goes in. Oh, did he? And I'll show did you. They I got look it in crisp and fresh. Oh, dude, they, they're they really comfortable. Oh, wow. I'm going to show them to you. That's amazing, Paul. Maybe you can fucking laminate them and walk around. They could be shiny and new your whole no, fucking they, life. No, they're inside the shoe and cushy. They're for oh, I can't even. I can't even. There isn't anything more fucking boring than listening to two sneakerheads talking about which Jordans they like the best. And they're always like 50-year-old guys. Yeah, I don't oh, like that. The cement? With the flying Jordan guy in teal, over, dude. I got a matching bathrobe. You like chicks with their fucking shoes in the closet? They're sneakers. No, no. Listen, look at I'm these. Not like that. I'm you look know at these, not. Paul. Look at these fucking things. Worn. Jordan ones. Jordan ones. Those are classics. Yeah, smokes. I didn't fucking walk around and put fucking <laughs> shoe trees. <laughs> What's a shoe tree? A shoe tree is what a salesman puts in th those wooden things you put inside your fucking wingtips. Oh, oh, like when you're when they're off. Yeah, so you don't look like Willie Loman when they look <laughs> down at your feet, going, "Should I buy something off of this guy?" And your fucking shoes are collapsing like your dreams. Oh, uh, my dad had those big wooden blocks that he had put in his shoes. Yeah, I don't know what you meant. Oh, yeah, um, my dad, I know he he was barefoot and his shoes had tassels on them. Garen fucking T. And he had shorts, Larry Bird shorts on. Yes, there we go. That's a yeah, shoe tree. My, yeah, my dad had the wooden ones that were like shiny. It's hysterical. Uh <laughs> Dude, the amount of brand new Jordans that are thrown out because they get a crease in them and floating in the ocean. That's some sea turtles fucking floating around. Because <laughs> 45 year old men have to walk out of the house looking like it's the first day of school in eighth grade every day of life. I don't know why people don't donate them to people that need sneakers. There's a whole fucking thing for that. Homeless people and shit. Like, why would you throw them out? Um, I don't know what you guys do with them. And then I, I don't know. Paul, I mean, I literally watched you walk on your heels for a quarter of a mile. Yeah, but those Woodstock, were. Yeah. Where were we? In Minneapolis. You walked on your fucking heels with your toes up. <laughs> That's one of the greatest laughs me and Bartnick ever had. I almost went over and took your hand. <laughs> I was going to take off my North Face and put it over a puddle. I remember that. <laughs> Trying to think which one those were. I think those. When are, are you going to stop dressing like Jay Z in two thousand two, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't got Come you. On, you made the album. How crazy is that? Look what I got on now. I got these. Oh, God. oh my God! Yeah. These are these are thirty dollar Marshall. Caitlyn Jenner threes. <laughs> these, are, these are the dad twos. <laughs> were those Reeboks? Hey, those are Reeboks. Yeah, uh, I'm just fuck, dude. I'm just listen. I don't give a fuck about your sneakers. I just fucking, you know. It's you went one like, and three. Just this, this fucking betting this this year for me. It's just been a bad relationship. Uh, I just dude, you're I just you're doing get, better than I am. Shit, you dude. What about me? I was down eight games. I was ready to fucking... People were going, hey, Verzi, I lost my house on you. Yeah, Fuck but Paul, it. what you have going for you is this delusion. Yeah. Like, when I lose, I'm like, I suck. When you lose, you're like, this isn't me. Yeah. This is <laughs> It's the funniest shit ever. I can't see it. I can't see it. I'm not seeing it. Like It's like everybody who gambles fucking loses. Not, not uh. me. But dude, you're you're on your Paul. The only thing I have going for me this fucking season is watching you four peat. I don't <laughs> want to put pressure on you, but if you fucking let me down, Bill, the officials are against me. <laughs> I'm like the Chiefs. <laughs> I'm glad you won this week because I didn't want to listen to you whining about another bet you, you lost by half a point. Um, oh, I lost speak by half a point. Well, yeah. I mean, if you took the other team, you would have won by half a point. I'm just here to say that I can't pick. I can't fucking throw it in the ocean at this point. Have you been watching any of the uh, October baseball? No. Oh, I got to get off the phone. I, I could give a fuck. Um, really? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not. Mets Brewers game, that 20 year old kid went yard like fucking Andrew Jones back in 96. That, Two yeah. times call, opposite field, tied it up in the bottom of the ninth, and then they went ahead to tie the series up one to one. I love October baseball. Um, Bill, we won the Monday night special. Yes, we did. We I, I have I have another fucking Zoom call. Let's let's do the Monday night special real quick. Yep, yep. I gotta hit to the airport. Sorry anyway. to all the fans. I'm bringing the negativity, but there's somebody out there that is feeling my pain. All right, we got the Saints and the Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs minus five. You already picked them, so we'll go with that. I didn't even know Rasheed Rice is out. What a shame, oh. dude. That kid is a fucking superstar, man. No, I like them at home. On, on, on you know, you and it's bailing the Chiefs out. More than than the offensive line holding every play is Rasheed Rice getting open. Oh, that kid worthy too. That fast kid rookie is doing really good for them. Oh, um, all right. And what's going so, on? With Pacheco's hurt. Uh, Jake, what's going on? With Pacheco's he hurt? Yeah, he broke his leg, so he's gonna be out for a while. Uh, but he's coming back later. Um, Mahomes to throw one, Kelsey to catch one. I know Kelsey's been quiet this year, dude. I don't know what's going on. I think prime time under the lights, he's going to do it on a Monday night game. Yeah, I believe in that guy. He's got, well, you know what? He's, he's got to be due. All right. So let's do this then. We'll do the Chiefs to the Chiefs to win by six. Kelsey well, to catch one. It touches because that Rice kid was killing it so much. And that worthy guy you were bringing up, maybe, you know, I don't know. So now that those that guy's hurt, I no, like they're, they're stacked, dude. They, they got a lot of talent too. I, I like that bet. Okay. Uh, Mahomes to catch Mahomes to throw one, Travis Kelsey to catch Mahomes one. To go like this, Mahomes to go like this. Go How many? T- what's How many the times? under over? What's the under over on that? <laughs> Mahomes to do his shadow puppets. Um, all right, Swift to say, Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I gotta get to the airport. There you go. This is our picks. Uh, the Chiefs to win by six, Mahomes to throw one, Travis Kelsey to catch one. There you go. We're going to get the Monday night special two weeks in a row for you guys. Um, there you go. At least um, somebody's winning. Somebody's winning. All right. I got to I gotta go, right. dude. There you all go, right. guys. guys I'll watching. see you later. See you next week. Bye-bye, Paulie. Bye, buddy. I'll see you later. Bye. Um, all right, guys. You know what to do, too. All you guys have to do is go to the BetMGM app, of course. Please Bet responsibly, okay? You can put in. Here's what you do. They got an offer going on for you, just like I said at the top of the show. And uh, the offer is, hold on, I'm getting the offer right now. Sorry, Andrew. Uh, You don't have to edit this out. They know. Uh, The BetMGM is offering $1,500 in free bets to get your season going. How to get this offer? Four easy steps. You download the BetMGM Sportsbook app and you use our code. It's as easy as can be. It's BURR, B-U-R-R. All you do is you put that code in, you sign up, and you deposit at least $10, okay, in your BetMGM Sportsbook account. You place your first uh, first wager and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if that bet loses. If the bet does lose, uh, your bonus bets will be available once the initial wager is settled guys it's that easy please bet responsibly and don't forget the first touchdown offer you simply place a bet on the player you think is going to get the first touchdown if they don't get the first touchdown but they get the second touchdown you'll get your stack back in cash it's that easy look the anything better show is uh coming i know bill is pissed off that he went one and three but you know what he's still right there i was down eight games guys I was down eight games. Look, I still have to come back because this week, who knows what could happen. But now I am down four. Okay? We'll see what happens this week. Uh, We got to hope. We got to hope, guys. But uh, we hit the Monday night special for you guys. Hopefully, you guys stick with me. Stick with me, at least for a little bit. If I get really bad, then you don't have to. But, I, you know, hey, look, I would go with the guy that did it three times. Andrew, Jake, do you guys have anything else before I get out of here? I got about five minutes here. Um, no, I mean, I'm, I'm licking my wounds if, after another 0 in four weeks. So I'm trying to bounce back here and, uh, catch up to, to you, Paul. Well, the one thing that Bill said is right. Like this is the first year. I just don't know who anybody is. I, I, I don't know what's going on with the Cincinnati Bengals. I think that's a team. I obviously don't know what's going on with teams like the Raiders and the Broncos. I don't know what's going on with the Jaguars. 
Uh, Sam Darnold is all of a sudden Joe Montana and the Minnesota Vikings are the best team in football. Nobody saw that coming. Aaron Rodgers is staring at staring at the the, the press conference reporters pissed off because he doesn't know what the fuck is going on. It's a wild, wild time. But but like everything else, Andrew, like everything else, it's the universe finds a way to fix itself. You know, right? the, that Jets that Jets game there in London, Rogers knees a little, you know, so I mean, that's he's on a plane like that's not going to be great for him. Um, but as far as still as as the, the thesis of this week goes is not knowing the teams. Um, if you bet against the public so far this year, you're anywhere between, it depends on where, where you are, where you're booking, but like, you know, probably anywhere between 65, 75%. Um, wow. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, so, it's I mean, you have to look at these public games, like, uh, the Ravens and the bills last week. Right. I mean, everybody was all over the bills because of the way the Ravens have been. So you got to look at those games and go, what's up. So now this week with the bills, I mean, that's a huge bounce back spot to a Texans team that's underperforming, you know? So I like, I liked, uh, yeah, I like the bills. Um, so... And I like your Jaguars pick. I like your Jaguars pick, by the way, Anthony Richardson is practicing, but he's only taken a few snaps. Uh, the rumor is is that it's it's going to end up being Flacco, so wow. we'll see. I mean, you I never know. The last time, uh, yeah, I mean, you never know. Flacco could come in, and I mean, God forbid, but I just feel like, uh, yeah, yeah I good pick. you know, look, I feel like you know to review my picks real quick. Um, I feel like Jaden Daniels as real. Yeah, we got our picks here. We go. Yeah, so I got the Jets. Uh, like I said, I just, and, and Aaron Rodgers, his leg is going to be in a fucking thermal chamber on that airplane. I'm not worried about that. Uh, <laughs> I think, um, I think that the commanders, dude, Jaden Daniels figured something out and you know what? In week two against the giants, I saw him starting to turn a corner and even though they won the game, they did not look good. The Giants could have won that game. And since that game, he's really been good. And he's starting to get chemistry. So, again, I don't like the half a point, but I do like them. The Jaguars have to win. I mean, you have to win. And listen, the Packers have been uh, – the Packers and the Lions are the two – I think the Packers and the Lions are the two teams in the NFC. Um, no disrespect to the 49ers and no disrespect to even the, the Vikings, but – I, I don't think it's going to be sustained, and I think no. that uh, that I think the Packers well the pa Packers showing a young quarterback can do it too. So the Vikings, I think the Vikings can beat any of those teams. They've shown that they can. But as far as the Niners go, I heard this this morning. Shout out to Sean Green, Sports Gambling Podcast. He was saying that he had heard uh, that this potentially could be the last season for McCaffrey because this injury did not. Uh, the treatment, which is fairly widely reported uh, in Germany, that he went didn't perhaps didn't take because uh, they didn't come out and say there was any real good news. Um, and as far as anybody who's looking at the screen, uh, you see like Jake and mine pick. Like Jake's only got one pick in, and then mine. I just because I am filling this out, I just kind of put in some soft picks, and then before the Thursday night game, I send it off to these guys. So yeah, Jake's with you on the Packers game there. I, I kind of like that too. Um, yeah, the Rams are just a lot of injuries, yeah. not a lot of consistency. I'm with you on Packers and Commanders, Polly. So hopefully we split them. <laughs> Ideally, the Packers. Yeah, you punch yeah. you in, Jake. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I uh, not not officially, but, but I'm leaning right. that way. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> yeah, I it, it, it's weird, but it's also like some things need to now. You're getting to week five, so you're going to start to see teams not tank. But it's getting to the point where if you're an NFL team, if you're an NFL team and you're 0-5 or 1-7 or 1-6 or something like that, then they really start to figure in next year. I, I hate to say this to 49er fans because I do like the 49ers. And I have a lot of friends who like the 49ers. And I performed in front of the owner and the GM and the president of the 49ers, and they couldn't have been cooler. And I really liked them. Um, so I don't mean any disrespect, but I did hear – a sports analyst say it. I forgot who it was, but they said at the beginning of the season, they go, I was watching the 49ers and they just look exhausted. What they've gone through to go to the Super Bowl two years in a row, I don't think people understand really what that takes. A long season, beat up, 
you go to the Super Bowl or or two out of three years, whatever it was, you go to the Super Bowl multiple times in the last few years, I should say. And to get back and do it again and to keep everybody healthy and to keep everybody on the same page and to pay everybody, uh, it's a lot. So I just don't know what they could sustain. And if McCaffrey is as bad as what you're saying, if McCaffrey is like, they're going, dude, this guy's leg is really yeah. screwed up. I mean, they're, they're, their their backup running injury, back is good, though. That injury report at the beginning of the year was really soft on McCaffrey. That was like, eh, he's going to be okay. Like, it's not as bad. And then it's just like, clearly it was worse. Clearly it was worse just based on preseason, based on, you know, first – like, it was just clearly it was worse. So I, I just think that's the direction that it's going. I think there's a little – I think they're protecting – Maybe him. I, I I don't know, but um, well, Burrow yeah. had the same thing last year, so that's how I kind of knew. I was like, oh, McCaffrey's yep. probably not going to play for the few, first few weeks because that's what happened to Burrow. But this is obviously a lot worse than what Burrow was going through. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, um, Paul, you had mentioned you had mentioned you liked the Bengals in that. Um, do I? Let me see that game. I know uh, you're not taking them. No, you Bill, the Bill. That was Bill. Bill took. Them. <laughs> oh, all right. Bill yeah, took I the, do kind of like the Bengals in that spot. Uh, kind of do like them in that spot. I don't know why. I mean, dude, their um, their back is against a wall. I mean, look, look, this is this is like you're playing for your life at home. I mean, you're playing for your life at home. You can't if they lose that game, they're one in five. If they the lose Ravens that game, corners. Yeah, the Ravens corners are trash, and that's literally what the Bengals have. Is they they've got they've got T Higgins, they got Jamar Chase. They're both healthy. They were both healthy last week, but like, I mean, Chase has been, but but um, Higgins was there. But yeah, it still didn't happen. And and uh, it's division. I mean, yeah. it's a lot. It's a good spot for the Bengals. Uh, all right, guys. Well, listen. Enjoy the week. I have to go catch an airplane. I'm getting picked up here in like 20 minutes. Um, you have the picks. You guys know the offer, guys. Bet responsibly. Enjoy it. Don't get crazy. Uh, look. I was down eight. Now I'm down four. We'll see what happens. We're going to try to keep fighting up this battle. We're going to try to keep clawing up this mountain to see if I can do this. This is like the, like, this is one where I'm just like, I'm like the Niners. I'm exhausted, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's why the All NFL right, is the best. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next week.